Hey there, Dave Gardner here, and I want to talk to you about VidUber, which is a new hosting or video hosting, video streaming, video creation software. And so uh, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can actually do it right from your computer. So I am doing a screencast um, of my computer. And if we click upload and record, I have a couple options. I already have put some videos here, just testing them, some things out as I did my training videos. I am the master trainer um, in here. So if you actually look at any one of these orange buttons, so for example, if I click this orange button, watch what the beginning. Hey there, this is Dave Gardner and I'm super excited. So I have all the videos in here. I did all the training. I've been working with the company the uh, last couple of years doing a lot of their training videos. And so we can go through and you can either record a video live, you can upload a video, record a screen, record an audio. But what I'm going to do right now, you can see I have my phone and I'm logged into VidUber on my phone as well. And so all I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of do this live as we're, we're on here. And so I'm just going to turn my phone around and uh, I'm going to record. And then this video is going to be uploaded into my member area. So I'm actually going to go back. Uh, we'll go back here and just show this just to see, okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven videos. And I also see that I have seven videos there. And so I'm just going to do a really short video and we'll show you how this, this uh, works. So, I'm gonna click the uh, play button and uh, the record on my camera. And so, okay, time's going down. Just doing the VidUber, uh, video hosting, video streaming, and video creation. I'm actually using my iPhone right now. I'm in the middle of creating a video. So that's the video right now that we're talking about. And I'm just gonna do this and we're gonna upload it right now. So I'm just gonna click stop just to show you how cool it is. We're gonna click stop. Then I have the option to actually play it. And so we can watch it right here. My camera. And so, okay, time's going down. Just doing the VidUber, uh, video hosting, video streaming, and a video creep. So, okay, so I wanna use that video. And what's gonna happen is that is going to pop up. I have the option right there to save. It's not as easy to see, but okay, there's a little save button there. Hopefully you can see that. We're gonna click save on the phone. And it's going to give me the option. So I'm just going to type in uh, VidUber. We're going to call this phone test. And we're just going to say the description. Uh, testing using the phone. And the tag is going to be iPhone test. And this is October 18. 2021 okay we're going to make it uh, private just because again for the sake of just it being a random video and so again there's the details i don't know uh, how clear that's going to come in uh through this through my little uh screen there but that's the details right there i'm going to click the save video button turns it to green and then boom now that video is there and watch i'm going to now refresh this screen and that video is going to be there i'm going to be up to eight videos and so we'll just let this uh, go a little bit. My Wi-Fi on my phone might be a little bit different than the uh, computer because the computer has a bigger graphic thing going on. It's got some tabs open, obviously, um, and the recording software is, is uh, a little bit of a bigger thing than what's going on in my phone. So um, really super cool. And so here it is right here. I'm gonna put the phone down, <clears throat> but here's that video right here. So watch it, let's, or let's, let's play it and watch. camera and so okay time's going down just doing the VidUber uh, video hosting video streaming and a video creation I'm actually using my iPhone right now I'm in the middle of creating a video so that's the video right now that we're talking about and I'm just gonna do this and we're gonna upload it right now so I'm just gonna click stop just to show you how cool it is and so one of the cool things about that of course is I was able to do that in the video I did a live I could have also chosen a video that was already available on my phone now, so that's two options. If we want to use it from the actual computer, we have four options. So this one right here, recording a video like I just did on the phone, or I could upload a video. So watch, I can do it again by just clicking this button right here, record a video. And once that happens, it's going to ask and pop up a, a screen or it should pop up a little window to ask me if I want to be able to, um, you know, give access to the camera. And so we could either do a couple options, upload video. I'm gonna upload a video. I just, we did the record here. Maybe we'll go back to that in a minute. 
And so we're going to go into, for example, uh, I'll go into my documents. And let's just say, for example, uh, just here's just a random one. I'm not even sure what's on there, um, but it's an old video. Let's see what's going on. I don't even know what. I think this is one of my welcome. Hey there, videos. Dave Gardner here. Welcome to my channel. Yeah, I think this is what I put on my blog. So I'm going to save it. We're just going to call it a welcome. And again, so you can pull videos that you already have on your computer and you can actually upload them. So instead of them being on your computer, now they're in the system and then you can pull out certain information from them, which I'm going to show you here in just a minute. And so we're going to give this just a, a little bit because again, it's populating on the back end. Maybe depending on the size of the video, it might take a little bit longer than others, but as you can see, it's going pretty quickly there. And so we're just going to call this, uh, you know, DMG welcome video and welcome to the channel. So you have a place for your video name, you have a place for video description and video tags. So we'll say Dave Gardner, welcome, Dave Gardner, who is Dave Gardner? Okay, you can do video tags, business Dave Gardner, whatever you want people to search for and actually find your videos, that would be in the video tags. And I can make this public or private and I would want to obviously always optimize it. We're going to save that video. And then when we go back to that main page, whether it was the video I did through my phone or the video that we're doing right here, uh, uploading it, for example, again, that's the other option versus recording straight from the um, camera. And so what might have happened, I, I think I was blocked a little bit by using the record camera because I'm already using the camera um, where before in the training videos, I'm able to do it because I'm not using the camera and then it opens the camera. So I believe my camera is blocking that function right now on that one. And so if we look at this, there's a couple things I can do. And so I'm going to show you both things. If I want to edit those details, there's a little pencil down in the corner. I can go in and I can edit. So we see the information that I just had. So there's my welcome video. Welcome to the channel. We got the tags. I have a, I have a key code or a video key. If you're going to use and create capture pages that are included. So over here, there's the option to do a landing page builder. And you can create some very simple landing pages. Some are already made for you with templates and you would get your video key. You would just take this video key and you can import it into there and then boom, your video comes already. Now, if I want to change a thumbnail, so let's say I didn't want this, I can upload my own by just clicking this box. Maybe I don't want a picture of me with that shirt. I want something else just so it looks a little more uh, captivating. So let's just say we go to uh, pictures again. I'm, I'm just showing you the process, not what has to be there, but Okay, so randomly, let's put a picture of me hanging out on the hammock. Okay, so there we are. What we always want to do, regardless of what we change on any page, we want to click the Save button, and that will bring us uh, back to our original screen. And so we have two other options. Like I said, um, the first one, I believe it's because I'm already using my camera, so it didn't have the option to pull up the camera. Um, but hopefully you're not making a video in a video. You're just making the video, obviously. And so hopefully that makes sense. But Clearly you saw me do it with the phone. So uh, the proof is, is right there. Um, so notice how in this picture now, this change, instead of it me being a picture of me with uh, the New York uh, Giants jersey, it now is me, of course, in the hammock. But what if I wanna change some other stuff? There's other things that I can do and add in here and not, excuse me, not change, but to uh, edit and manipulate. And so I can go into the embed and when I click the embed, I can get things that I can then share with the world. I can get the MP4 link, I can get a regular video URL. If I wanna put it on my website, I can actually embed it, I can get the iframe. And one of the cool things is if I wanna have a redirect, I can redirect it. So for example, let's say we wanna have this redirect, this video once they're done with the video, um, we wanna redirect it elsewhere. And so for example, um, we wanna to go to, you know, whatever the website is you wanna to go to. So let's just say for example, um, we're gonna to go to YouTube Put the full thing in there, HTTPS, youtube.com slash barefoot painting. And that's actually my um, YouTube, YouTube channel. So when we take this whole iframe, I'm going to just copy that and I'm going to open up my blog and we're just going to do a generic blog post here. So I'm going fresh in here just to show you exactly how it works. And so we got that. <clears throat> we're going to log in 
I'm going to create a, bland, a brand new blog post just to, again, spur of the moment, just showing you what to do relatively how simple it is. So I'm going to add a new post. And we're going to keep things simple. I'm going to call this VidUber Overview. How to add a video to your blog. All right. And, and again, I can go back and I can do all other things with the blog. Uh, that's not the point of the video, but I just want to show you something quick. And so we're going to go to the actual post. And I, and I have a different plugin and a different theme that I can actually build off of. That's a totally different story for another time. I want to focus on uh, the functionality of VidUber. And if we just want to put a couple boxes in here. And so let's see, I'm gonna have my title and then, okay, so let's say our short code, and this is what you're really looking for. So let's say, for example, someone uh, you're working for, or, you know, you have a web guy or you, you have someone that's doing something, or even if you're wet inclined in the web, depending on what you have, if it's a, view, a YouTube video, what I have is the embed code. So I'm gonna choose embed code versus YouTube video because it's on a different program. So I have the embed code and I'm just going to paste that code. And so right here, it changed it a little bit, but you see that youtube.com barefoot painting, that was what I added, but we have the other video. And here I am with uh, me and my uh, my t-shirt and the hammock. And so I'm just gonna save this and we're gonna preview the page and then watch what happens. So we're gonna watch the video here. And notice it goes right back hey to there, the Dave name Gardner of here. Yankees. Welcome to my channel. You're gonna find a lot about marketing. I'm gonna turn that down. about marketing I've been doing it since 2009 I've been coaching since way before that and again these are all the things you can see and all you can do is learn and just keep looking at those videos so we're just gonna give it another more notice we got like eight more seconds watch what happens when that gets down uh, to 31 I'm gonna stay quiet here for a second and notice it took a second or two but it automatically refreshed and it went to my YouTube page so that's a really cool function that we have with VidUber, which you can actually redirect. So if you have videos playing on your own page, maybe you have you know like a thank you page and you want them to watch it, or maybe it's a bridge page. And after they watch the video introducing yourself, it then boom goes to the next page with an offer or with something else or you know some other strategy or maybe where their promised report was. And so that's another cool function. You can go and you can play around with you know background colors and sizes and themes. You know, you can make it fit the player. You can make it have controls or no controls. So those are all things that you can play around with. You can go in and see statistics. And so, you know, how many people watched all of it or only 10%, 20%, 100%, so on and so forth. If you want to download the video, sharing, I'm just going to pause this. And it's a couple of cool functions here too. Over here in the bottom right corner, you just click download. So for example, let's say, uh, you know, you want to make it accessible for people to use. Maybe you got a video for your team or other people that are you know working with you and they want to use a, a sample and put it on their page as well they can download it and you know a little funny thing right here i like this and appreciate this the the playback speed you can change so for example if we speed it up and if we listen hey Dave Gardner here welcome to my channel you're gonna find a lot about marketing you're gonna find some stuff about lacrosse you might even sounds like i'm you know like on super speed you know really hype or whatever if i slow down to even if you slow down to half sounds like i find some cool chemistry experiments because I'm still full time. So if you want to have people go through your courses, it's really great because a lot of times I like to do things um, on higher speed. Now, I normally talk pretty fast anyway, so it's a cool function that you can actually modify and manipulate the playback speed. And so that maybe people want to get through things a little faster. Maybe they want to slow things down. So that's a cool function you have there uh, with our video software. And so, like I said, we can go through, we changed, you know, we changed the, the template or not the template, the thumbnail. We can see statistics, we can download it. If I wanna, so I'm already logged into uh, Facebook, for example, if I wanna share this, all I can do is click the Facebook button because I've already attached my uh, account. Notice it just automatically pulls up, here it is. So we got the DMG welcome video, we got welcome to the channel. You know, there's the link to the, the hosting uh, solution. And then I can just type whatever I wanted, you know, say something about this, you know, blah, 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 blah. I could do it and I could post it. Notice I can post it wherever I want. I can post it to my feed, my news feed or story. I could share it with a friend, share it in a group, an event, a private message, so on and so forth. So I'm not gonna do that right now.
but you do have the ability to do that. You can share it to Twitter as well. Maybe over time, there might be some other uh, features which we are allowed to do that. Now, if you think of like Instagram, Instagram doesn't really have live links. Your links are always in your, uh, your bio and Instagram. So these two always have live links. So that's a really cool feature. And so if we go back to the record and upload uh, feature, I just wanna show you the other two options. And one of the key things is this is very, very competitive with uh, Vimeo and Wistia. Basically knocks, knocks them out of the park with the uh, price points. So make sure you're checking out down below, click on one of the links and uh, you can get even start for a trial. You might even be our dollar trial. You might even be able to start free depending on when you're looking at this video and what offers are, are available. So like I said before, I believe because I already have my video camera on, it's blocking the function of asking it again because I'm actually making a video. But if you look at the training videos, you'll actually see that I click on the button and it will open up. And like I said, I, I showed it on my phone. Next option, recording the screen. It will give you a couple options of what we want to do. So for example, if I want to do um, you know, the whole thing, basically everything that's there, or if I only want a window, so I have a couple different windows open like documents, folders, files, you know, a window snip or a, a graphic snipping tool. Or if I want to do a Chrome tab, one of the things you have to pay attention with is the Chrome tab as far as the volume. The, this this pop-up is like a Google function. This pop-up is not necessarily a Viduber function. And so the sharing the tab audio is, is related to um, the, the, the Chrome extension, not necessarily us. So one of the things that I learned, you want to make sure this is unchecked so that when you're recording that part of the video, um, it actually records the, the actual video with it. So, for example, let's let's just go over to YouTube. I'm going to share the YouTube channel. So notice it will say sharing this tab in VidUber and I can stop it. So if I go back to VidUber, notice where it was those four options. Now there's my web page. And so what we want to do is we're just going to start recording. We'll give it a couple seconds. Okay, so now it's live. Notice we see some time going on there. I'm gonna to go to my channel so I can actually scroll. And so, you know, here I am, Dave Gardner, just showing you my videos. I have different playlists, for example, whether you wanna have, you know, things on now lifestyle, if I have different product reviews, different marketing tutorials, I'm a lacrosse coach, I'm a chemistry teacher. So I have all these different playlists. And so if we just scroll down, you know, just to the bottom, we'll see that over here, notice how this now scrolled down. We see, you know, the video of here I am, uh, you know, on a squat rack, doing shoulder press, kids doing some a chemistry experiment against the wall. And that's what we see over here. So it will change as you go through. When you go back, we're just going to click stop. We're going to click save. If you want to play it, you can play it. Seconds. Okay. So now it's live. Notice we see some time going on there. I've noticed some time there. I'm going to go to my channel. So I can and so let's say it's good. I want to save it. The process for saving is the same for all of the other ones that we've done so far where we have to uh, enter, you know, the name, the title, we have to enter a description, we have to enter some video tags, we can choose whether it's private or public, and then boom, we can save it, and then we can always go and edit it later. And so that's another cool feature. Again, so not only can I do a live recorded video, I can upload a video that I recorded elsewhere, maybe on my phone or something else. Um, I can do a screen capture, and then I'll show you the audio function in just a minute. And so uh, we have YouTube test for VidUber screen capture. And I'm just gonna copy that and paste it in here because it's the same thing. So VidUber, uh, let's see, YouTube with VidUber screen capture. And again, your, your tags are gonna be things that you would use to, to attract people to you. And so if someone's doing a generic search on Google and they're searching for VidUber, we can start to show up. So you want to make sure that certain things that you want to be searchable are public. If you want, you know, if you want it to be private and you don't want people to find you, make sure you click the private button. So I'm going to save that and then we'll have that video go through. And, and I'm not going to go through all the steps again with editing and changing things because hopefully you got it there. The other thing is all these training videos, I'll show you in just a minute and then we'll come back to our last feature. Uh, which is really cool with the upload video function with or upload and record, but but doing it as an audio and, and playing as an audio, even though it's as a, as a video format, but it's actually an audio. And so, you know, there's the one that I added first, like through my phone. Here's the one that we added, we uploaded, and then I changed the thumbnail. And this is the one we did with the screen capture. And so all of the training videos are right here. There's, you know, I think there's at least 17, maybe there's over 20 now. Forget, I've done them all. So like I said, if you go into any one of them, 
it goes more in depth in how to do each of them. So for example, you know, how to upload and record, how to upload a thumbnail, add video tags, edit video details, embed videos, download video, uh, how to share videos, social media sharing, page builder video keys, you know, making video private, your video stats, playback speed, record video upload, record so on and so forth. And so I've gone through a lot of this with you already. And so if we go back to that last function, the record and upload, we'll give it a second to uh, bring that page here and we'll be able to see the last cool function. So again, VidUber is powerful as you know, you're able to download and upload your videos. You're able to store your videos. And one of the key things is that it, it's ad free. Okay, this is ad free video. So when you go and host them, so for example, on my page, so for example, the preview page, when we go back and watch that video, we watched that whole 30 second video, there's no ads that popped up at the end. Instead, it went to YouTube. Um, I could have sent it to any page, but if you think about normal YouTube videos, not only do you have like recommended uh, videos at the end, but you also have a lot of ads in the middle and through in the beginning, which basically distracts your viewer. So in a lot of times it's your competition. And so all of a sudden the competition is seeing, you know, or excuse me, other people are seeing the competitors ads. And so that becomes, you know, uh, maybe a loss in sale. Maybe it's just a distraction and then people get stuck in the rabbit hole of, you know, think, oh, I'll go back to it. And next thing you know, an hour later, they're still on YouTube watching random videos, looking at cats. And then, you know, something happens. They got to go. They got to leave. They shut their computer down and they've, they've kind of lost track of you. So that's a huge, 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 huge aspect of VidUber is that it is ad free, will always be ad free. Okay. VidUber is also not going to close you down for random stuff that you put up. Now, some other page, you know, other places like Vimeo and Wistia, if they don't like this, the content you have on your video, they might shut you down. YouTube, you put stuff on there, there that they don't like, they might shut you down. So just keep that in mind where VidUber, you own it all. Okay, You own all the videos. It's your stuff. All right, the last function is recording audio. And it works kind of like um, if you have Audacity or any other audio recording software but what it's going to do right now it actually is going to save it as a video but it's the audio of a video so for example let's say you have a an ebook for example or you just have something that you wanted to, to share with your your people but maybe you didn't want to be there in person and it's just you know like a recorded call we're going to go through this and i'll, I'll again we'll test it out hey there dave gardner here just testing the audio function of viduber just to show you how it works. And so we'll be able to play it. Hey there, Dave Gardner here, just testing the audio function of VidUber, just to show you how it works. All right, so again, the process after that is the same. Now notice it looks like a little play button here. So we got the little audio software, but when it actually populates through the system, because it's a video system, it will actually have the audio. And so again, we'll give it a couple seconds just to let it populate. Of course, obviously you have to upload it into the program, then the program has to render it so that it can be feasible to be played in the right, uh, the right capacity. So we have, uh, we got our audio, VidUber test. And we're just gonna do the same thing here. So we're gonna do audio recording, how to record audio. I did that in one of the other ones. We could do uh, recording audio with VidUber. And, and again, anything you want to be uh, searched. And so I'm going to save that video. And even though it's an audio, it, it does play as a video. So you would do the same thing. And uh, I'll show you that as well. You would do the same thing on your website. And so we'll give this a couple more seconds. It's in the process. Notice we have that uh, green. We got scrolling up there um, just to show you what's going on. So once it's ready, if it's a bigger file, obviously it's gonna take a little bit longer. So I'm gonna watch the video and I'm gonna get the embed code and we're gonna do the embed code. And again, just to show you, let's say I want HTTP, uh, let's say basic lacrosse.com. And just to show you that it's, it's gonna to go to one of my other websites, just to show you that it's different. And again, just to show you about the ad free stuff. So I'm gonna copy this whole code I'm going to come back to my uh, page builder. I'm going to put another one underneath. We'll make it another video. So again, yours might be a little bit different depending on what your uh, blog or your code software is. 
mine, I'm just using the embed code. I'm going to paste it and boom, there we go. It's in black. I know this is in the way, um, but you see the little plus sign or excuse me, the little play arrow. I'm going to save this. We're going to go back over to here and we're going to refresh the page at my blog. And underneath, we'll see it's here. We're going to play it and then watch what happens because it's short. Hey there, Dave Gardner here. Just testing the audio notice, function. Notice there's the no Uber, just to show you how it video. Works. There's nothing there. It's just blank. And then I'm going to let my hands go off and notice it redirected right to my uh, lacrosse website. So cool function, things you can do. Obviously, um, you know, if I go back, obviously, this is very large. You could probably you could play around with your settings, whether that's in the blog or whether that's in the video hosting. Uh, and VidUber, like I said, you can change sizes over here. So um, again, play around with it, test it out. It's only a buck, okay? You can get a dollar trial. And then if you compare it to the amount of video hosting you can get versus places like Vimeo and Wistia, okay? It blows it out of the park when it comes to the fees for you know per month or if you're at the annual level. Uh, again, and depending on where you are and when you're seeing this, you may have the ability to still buy a lifetime, however, lifetime options are not going to be available forever because you have to think about uh, the company. The company has uh, expenses every month. They have electricity. They have, you know, people that, that, that work and make sure that they're maintaining the facility and maintaining the database and the storage facility and, you know, the hard drives and the electricity and the air conditioning and all that stuff. They have monthly bills. So obviously this is a monthly service, but if you take action, you get in first, Number one, you might get a great lifetime value, then you will never have to pay uh, again for that. So again, super, super powerful. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice here. Super powerful for that. There's a couple other things that you can check out. I mentioned the landing page builder. I'm not gonna get into that. That's just an extra feature if you wanna use it. And also the testimonial generator. It is a cool way that also runs through video and capturing videos to actually get testimonials and they'll be stored in this. And it's a great way to do that. And I've also done the training videos for that. Now, um, we are at, let's see, we're at 27 minutes, just shy of, of 30 minutes. So, you know, I appreciate your time so far. And if you can stick with me for another few minutes, I do want to mention one last thing. In addition to the power of the video, of course, op, you know, obviously we want to focus on the idea that you have ad-free videos. Again, ad-free videos are powerful if you want to make sure people stay with you instead of leaving and seeing somebody's ad and clicking on it or, you know, seeing a distraction at the end where, you know, YouTube is going to throw what they think is best fit for that person so that YouTube can make money. But you can choose where you want your video to go again with that uh, redirect function. But what I wanted to point out here is that you also, if you become a customer, you instantly become a reseller. Whether you're at the one dollar level or you know the monthly level, the annual yellow or, or annual level, or if you got in right in the beginning and were able to get a lifetime membership, it doesn't matter what level you're at. Even if you're at the one dollar level, if if you if you refer someone else and they go to the lifetime, you're going to earn commissions, and what you earn is actually a 35% commission. And so, for example, we have uh, promotional links in here, and you will have a username once you create. Uh, your account. So for example, my username's up here. It's Dave Gardner 2. Okay, my other original account with the other program is Dave Gardner. So this one's Dave Gardner 2 because VidUber is separate uh, from one of the other parent companies that this comes from. And so this is totally separate, totally uh, different compensation plan, to, you know, totally different team building. It's only a two-tier compensation. So if you grab your link, so for example, if I click on one of the promo pages, we scroll down, we're gonna see our link, which basically is the link you probably see if you go down below, click on it. That's gonna bring you the option to go test it out, log in, possibly create again, depending on when you see this video, it might be for the option of a free trial, it might be just for a $1 trial. And so we have the ability to capture leads. You have a lead capture system where you can automate and follow up with those leads. The company also does as well, so it's kind of twofold back to back. There is provided banners in here. And so depending on how you uh, go about promoting your materials, whether you put banners on other people's websites or blogs, or you want to put it on your own blog, or if you just want to copy the picture and maybe post it on uh, things like uh, Facebook, social media, and then you know have a link to that someplace else, uh, you could do that as well. So 
Well, hopefully the banners will show up and, and here we go. So we have a variety of sizes of banners that you can choose from. We have social media um, things and videos. So our, our video guy actually went through and edited a bunch of videos and made kind of some funny spoofy videos here um, about, you know, how Vimeo and Wistia are basically going to be knocked out um, in this scenario because of, of the ability of having better commissions and having uh, better opportunities and a much better compensation plan. And so a lot of them have very minimal compensations. They don't play up, pay up to uh, 60%. And so what you're going to get on the front end, excuse me, you have some ad copy as well. So if you want some emails, if you want some letters um, and articles there, you can choose between the two for your blog, for Facebook, whatever, just to get your mind thinking. And then there's the compensation plan. Compensation plan, uh, the details, it's 35%. It's a 60% payout total, but 35% is the front end. So for example, if I uh, sponsor you, if you join through this video, I'm grateful for that. What I will do is I will get and I will earn a 35% commission because you're my first level and I earn a 35% commission on the sale. Regardless of what level you buy at, I earn a 35% commission of that. Now, let's say you then use the service and then you're starting to share it with other people and you make some sales. What I'm going to get from you is I get a 25% matching check bonus. So let's say you go and you decide and you have a bunch of people that join you and, and let's say you make $100 next month. Well, I'm going to earn a 25% match on that, which is 25 bucks, right? Let's say you made uh, $500. 25% of that would be 125, I think. And so we get 35 direct, 25 match, and that's just on the first two tiers. So it's a two tier level, which opens this up for businesses like multi-level marketing, network marketing, where they don't allow, based on their terms and agreements, they don't allow you to, to partner with or to work with other companies that have you know, multiple levels and multiple downlines where you're earning off of a team growth. And so this is different. This is just two levels of payout. So it's great. And then the rest of the money goes obviously to the company because they have to pay off their bills. They're in it for profit, obviously. And, you know, as time goes on, maybe there's options for contests. You're going to get your social media stuff. All of the, again, all the banners are included. We have ad swipes. We have ability to get traffic. You know, there's another uh, income out there in the background, but we don't have to worry about that. If you do see that, Traffic Authority is attached if you want to get traffic, but there's also multiple other places to get traffic. You don't necessarily need to do that. That is just an option. And so you can actually go through and you can check your uh, commissions, your overall commissions, your commissioned overview. Once you start sharing and you start generating some traffic and getting some people that are checking it out and testing it out, you can actually see what you've made. And so income, uh, income disc disclosure here, I can't even say it, uh, spit it out, but income... <laughs> Income proof and income, income disclosure. I'm trying to put the, the L's together in two words. I talked all day in school and I'm, I've, you know, was talking after school and now I'm talking right now. And so I'm, I'm trying to spit the right words out. And so uh, we're not even 30 days old. Notice my last 30 days, last 365 and all time are all the same because we just launched this. This is October 18th. Uh, it was October 5th when we launched it. We had our first webinar and, you know, I made some good connections, brought in some good leaders and I made some lifetime sales, but I also made some monthly sales. Some people are on dollar trials. So these things are starting to go. So you can actually see your commissions. You'll be able to see a leaderboard. So when they have contests, you can click on and see who's in the leaderboard and who is, you know, maybe ranking up or, or going through. And so like on the top over here, if we hover, hover it says my current recognition, next recognition level is silver. And so that will go through a series. So I'm just shy of a thousand. I think a thousand might be gold. Silver might have been 500 in sales, gold might be 1,000. And so right now I am number two, okay? I'm not trying to brag, but uh, I've been with the company for a while, the, the parent company, and, and again, I was the one that was making all the videos. So I made some good contacts along the way, and, and that's a good thing to do. And so I would love to have you work with me. I am experienced in the material, so you, you know that you're getting someone that's well-versed and well-trained. And so I would always be willing to help you out and reach out in that any way that I can to help you out, especially as a team member um, when, when you when you join through the links below or you know whatever links you hear or see on the, uh, the site, okay? And so the downline is, again, you get to see the people and that's really the place and you can see how your overall team is growing, but again, you only get paid on the two levels. So that's where you'd wanna look at your direct affiliates because that's where you're gonna see people that you actually uh, have sponsored. So again, this has been Dave Gardner. All you gotta do is click the link below, 
test it out. It's only a dollar. Even if you decide to do, you know, the annual plan or the monthly plan, try it out for 30 days. Okay, you have a 30 day money back guarantee. You don't like it. You just put a support ticket in. Up here is the support. All you would do is click that button and hopefully you don't have to do it because obviously once you start posting videos and you realize that ad free video is the way to go, hopefully you don't ever want to put a support ticket in, uh, you know, to cancel. Maybe you have a support ticket because something's not working. Maybe there's a bug. Maybe you want something to be added. Maybe you have a business and you want a different size uh, banner or maybe you want some other images. And so all you would have to do is go up here and click submit a ticket. You could go into general support. OK, and then you would just say, you know, hey, something, something. I want to cancel my account, you know, whatever. And so. VidUber is going to be huge. The question is whether you're going to start putting your videos here or you're going to continue to allow them to be susceptible to either being shut down to having ads put on them or even to have all of the ads and recommended competitors be shown after your video. So again, real, real quick question. And you know, like, what are you going to do? What's the, what's the great choice for you now? Again, I got nothing against YouTube. Let's go to YouTube quick. Um, if we can see videos, I don't know. I thought there was a number that showed, but I mean, I, I, I have a few hundred videos here. I don't, I forget where my number is. Maybe I can pull it out. The problem is it's my other account. Yeah, so that's, I I have hundreds of videos. Yeah, this one, this is, I got two different YouTube accounts and this is my, my Gmail that I use for this is not connected to my account. So it's a different uh, email. But if you scroll, so for example, if I have my videos, like it's just, I have hundreds of videos and they're in all different topics. And so at any point, I'm at risk of YouTube just coming in and say, hey, we don't like this video. And, and I've had videos that have been shut down. I've had videos that have copyright infringement because there's, you know, like part of a song playing in the background. Like I was working out like in a video like this and there's music playing around in the gym. And, you know, I get a notice that they blocked it or blocked part of it or, or you know, edited part of it to silence it because of, you know, the, the song that was in there and the copyright. So, again, Think about the risk. Think about the options of, you know, you being able to get your stuff out there, keep it ad free, hosted, you know, upload streams. You have the ability to do it in multiple different facets. You can do it from your phone. You can do it from the computer. You can do screen capture. You can do live videos. You can do, you know, upload videos. I can do audio. And so we have all these features. I can make it into a capture page, you know, within here. I have other things that we're going to add on as time goes on and we have the reseller tools to boot. So again, this has been Dave Gardner. Recommend, just highly check it out. Click the link below. If you have any questions, leave comments as well. Always glad and willing to help. And I look forward to working with you and getting your videos out into the world ad-free. All right, we'll talk to you soon.